Hey guys, as we talked about last time, I'm kicking off hopefully uh, an annual tradition of Master Grade March. And to start us off is the best uh, Master Grade of 2022, the Master Grade Dom. Because uh, we had a total of two Master Grade releases in, in 2022. The Dom and the Wig Dom. Uh, and uh, these two are just both re-releases of the 1999 Doms with a couple of upgraded parts, I guess. I feel like this is just Bandai punishing us for not liking the 2021 lineup enough. Like, remember how back then everyone was saying, oh, only three Master Grade releases? Well, Bandai sure forgot about this line. Or, uh, like, the Master Grade Jin has, you know, a high grade frame. Or uh, how Bandai was only gonna do P Bandai releases from now on. Uh, well, this time uh, they basically just put some of their leftover uh, P Bandai the watch parts along with this 24 year old kit and uh, sold it as a version 1.5 you can't really criticize someone if they're not even trying at all right but i'm still gonna do it nonetheless uh, the dom was my favorite Xeon mobile suit from the one year war and somehow just never got a good uh, modern release so when they announced this refresh i was actually kind of excited i really didn't expect it to be like uh, this lazy of a refresh but when new type had this on discount for less than 50 bucks i had to pick it up which brings my first point this retails for 5,000 yen 61 dollars on new type but this is just not a 60 dollar kit the box may seem really big but one third of it is just useless parts uh, straight off of their 24 year old uh, injection mold the inside of these parts are all scratched up which was the standard for bandai back then so you know that they didn't really update these molds you can spot these new parts very easily as they are smooth front and back and they are molded in this uh, new KPS material. You know, the slightly rubbery material they use for joints and stuff now. The 1999 kit, however, was priced at 4,000 yen. It's 20% more expensive now and without any real improvements on value. The prices for new Gunpla releases have been hiking this entire time, obviously, to match inflation and whatnot. But usually we get better quality alongside it. This is just not the way to do it, in my opinion. You can literally get a Master Grade Gion for like $30 and you got way more value than that. They basically thought they could just put some new parts in here and they're not even really new parts, right? They're all parts from the Pee Bandai, the watch, and just charge people 2022 prices. I feel like they could have at least include the rig dom parts inside this one to make them interchangeable instead of having people buy two kits right even that would have been a good change a value adding change but obviously they don't really care and uh, we just have to suck it up like i did i really like the dom anyways the sale did soften the blow quite a bit and it seems like the kit is still on sale on new type right now so i guess uh, feel free to pick one up now definitely not worth 60 dollars though this year, we do have a Katoki Zeta release, so that's at least already better than last year. Enough ranting, let's dig into this kit. It's probably gonna take me this entire month to finish this kit, so in this video, I'm only going to go over the issues I see after snap building. The majority of the improvements here are on the articulation, so we have a lot of new joints, all in KPS. KPS joints are famously very tight, and uh, this time, first time in a long time have I encountered Bandai parts that don't really fit into each other. I'm not sure if I just got a bad batch. The hands are supposedly a big improvement, and I do have to say these hands pose very naturally. The new shoulder joints are now far more sophisticated, so you can drag them out a lot more. Hip joints are in this new double rotation format now, compared to the older ball joint and the joints also slide out like all the newer kids do now. So you get to theoretically have way more expressive poses, although uh, you really don't have that much clearance with the armor on this kit. They also updated some of the clear parts to colored parts, so we don't have to paint them anymore. I'll definitely be adding lights to this kit, and since the Dom has a very special light weapon on the chest, I'll probably even program a little light show. The kit looks very 90s from the outside. What I mean by that is that there's barely any surface detail. I mean, if you look at these shoulder parts, we got even less details compared to the 90s kits, but with a glass half full mentality, it means that, you know, we have more room to like express ourselves, right? Uh, the kit has a bunch of large empty surfaces, so it's a perfect candidate for uh, scribing and plating details. I kind of got the arms started already, so you can see what I mean by that. 
a lot of thrusters on the unit as well, so adding lights or uh, using metal replacement parts can make the kit a lot more impressive. I will have to say though, since a lot of these parts are huge and the mold is very old, I think surface shrinkage is going to be inevitable, so you'd probably want to sand the entire thing down before painting, which would be easier on this kit since uh, most of the surfaces are around, so all you need is a sanding sponge. Seamline wise, they actually did a pretty good job on this. There used to be a line down the shoulders, but they updated it into this sliding mechanism. Separation on the leg is on the sharp edge, so you don't really have to do anything with that. There are seam lines going down the thrusters and uh, the cockpit as well, but these are not exactly visible, right? So you probably don't have to fix these if you don't want to. The weapons aren't so great though. This uh, little gun and the bazooka are just both separated down the middle with uh, a bit of interlocking parts and details on the surface. This other bazooka though is a lot better since it's like a few barrel parts sliding into each other. Anyways, that's it for the Master Grade Dom. Uh, a bit of an underwhelming video than usual, but Master Grades just kind of uh, take a bit longer and uh, I need to keep a steady upload schedule going, right? I have a lot of ideas on what to do with this kit. I have a lot of ideas on what to do with this kit, so definitely stay tuned for the result. I'll see you guys next time.